So, what did you miss at Jubilee today? Well, gosh, you missed some great music. Uh, spectacular Bach duet. Uh, Michael and Greg were just wonderful. You missed Leanne talking about fear and how love overcomes fear and that when we're afraid, there are words, thoughts, prayers, realities and that can hold us close and carry us through our fears. And then you missed, I guess, the end. We talked about some of the apocalyptic visions that Jesus shares in, in a couple of the Gospels. We heard about the temple coming down. We heard about the ground shaking, and we heard about the end. But we were reminded that those words were also about birth pangs, which is hardly the end. We were reminded that Jesus spoke of bringing the temple down and being able to bring it back up in three days. And in Sunday school, many of us learned that Jesus was talking about his own temple, his body, his life, his, his ministry, that he could rebuild it in three days, which has special meaning for those of us who embrace Easter. Well, if Jesus could speak on such a profoundly personal level, when he talked about rebuilding the temple, could he also be talking on a profoundly personal level when he talks about the end of the world? So we considered what it meant for our worlds to end. Not the end of all history, not the end of everybody's world, not life on this planet or the end of the universe, but in fact, the worlds that end, the temples that fall with every tick of the clock, relationships that end, jobs that end, Sometimes denominations and ways of doing things come to an end and that we should recognize these as birth pangs. Jesus tells us that we'll have a chance to testify, that we will endure. And so perhaps the, the real message is that rather than fixating on what we've lost, we should focus on what we have. Focus on what we have and recognize that part of what we have is God's presence, God's love. God's love does not end when our world ends. And God is with us in the present, walking us, inspiring us into the future where there is a place for us. God's already there, beckoning us. So in fact, we should strive to recognize that ends are not always ends, they are in fact beginnings. We should recognize that worlds end all around us. Even if our world continues, the world for someone beside us might just have ended. A business, a job, a relationship, they have come to a close, and they are rebuilding. And so we can companion them. So the challenge today was not to wait for the end of the world with glee when the bad guys get it, but to recognize that world's end, that's part of life. And that in fact, we are all part of birth pangs. We are all invited into and promised a place in the future. That's what I think you missed at Jubilee today, and hopefully we get to see you next week. God bless.